Yeah. Vapor pressure of only A, then you add B, you have a new vapor pressure that's dropped. You want to find the mole fraction of B. Uh, you'll want to think Raoult's law right away. That's the only thing that has to do with pressures and mole fractions. So, partial pressure B, equal mole fraction of B, times the pure pressure of B. Uh, the problem is, oh, and let's label what we're given here. This one, what, what is this in terms of these symbols here? It's the pure pressure of A. Okay, and oh, what's this one? This is just the regular pressure of A. Okay, so to solve this, I uh, really kind of have to do it backwards a little bit, because you are only given information about A. So you've got to use it in forms of A and kind of go roundabout to get to the mole fraction of B. So I solve for the mole fraction of A. That's the pressure of A divided by pure pressure which is 0 0.60 divided by 0 0.80, whatever that is. 6 eighths, that's 3 fourths, 0 0.75. And then you have to just know the mole fraction of A times the mole fraction, or plus the mole fraction of B equals 1. Those are only two substances in solution. So the mole fraction of B is 1 minus mole fraction of A, or 1 minus 0 0.75. Better be 0 0.25. Yeah. Yeah? Great. Okay.